Hi, how you doing? It's Dave D, HighFusion.com, and I've got some very interesting information to share with you today. Um, don't ex exactly know how to explain this myself. Um, I'm working on it. First of all, a little background. Water is a mystery, and scientists really don't understand it. Uh, Victor Schoberger came up with uh, some really remarkable discoveries about water and the grandeur as well. Uh, we, it's led to the belief that there is structured water or crystalline water, that water has memory, that water will burn. Uh, that was John Kansius that uh, directed some radio waves at water and ignited it. I guess it was salt water, so that's a little different. Uh, right now though, I want you to pay attention to a, a modification of a cell that I built. And you'll see uh, I've set it up, the original cell in, in this, uh, it's kind of like a dry cell for Stanley Meyer types. It's made out of tubes and the water pumps through it. This is a cell that I originally built. And then, like a lot of experimenters, I thought, eh, let me mess around with it and make something a little different and test that. And first of all, that's the new cell. Looks very much the same. But check out this surface water. You can see that the water is full of bubbles. It has almost like a viscous coating on the top. And those bubbles have been there since yesterday afternoon, and I have no doubt that they'll stay there for maybe several days. Who knows? That is one of the determinations, one of the findings that people in the Joe Cell community report that water has been energized or structured when it has bubbles that stay on the top. Okay, here's my point. The original cell, you could run it as long as you want. You turn it off, water goes flat smooth, there's no bubbles. And the surface of the water doesn't seem to have any particular surface tension. Made one change with the new cell, and now the surface is covered with bubbles. Not only that, this particular cell puts out so much more energy, so much more HHO, that I am totally puzzled. It's just like one little difference and the thing goes crazy. So uh, let me see if we can't fire this up without jerking this around too much. All I have is a simple PWM. There's nothing fancy about it. It's a 35 amp PWM, pulse width modulator. It does have a square wave but it's not my new radiant charger circuit. All right, let's watch this thing. Let me, before I fire this up, get a good view of it. Okay, watch this. Ready? I don't know if you can see this, but it is going absolutely bonkers. The surface of the water here is just going crazy. It's almost like I've got a current turned on. I mean, it's like I've, I'm flowing water through it. Looking at it from the side, I hope you can see that okay. The water is both, it's, it's vortex, it's flowing up and down, the bubbles are, and it's making a tremendous current on the top. Okay, and let's look at the amps. We're running about 14 amps, 14, 15 amps. 
That is without John Ellis water. That's just straight electrolyte running 14, 15 amps. And as you can see, this thing is putting out a lot of HHO. Those are bubbles. And you can hear it just going crazy. It's just almost like it's boiling. Okay, I'm going to turn this off before I get too much hydrogen in the room and somebody lights a cigarette. Nobody smokes here. Thank God. Check out the bubbles on the surface. It's unbelievable. Okay, so that's my, uh, my latest discovery. Go to highfusion.com or give me a call if you want to know more. 207-315-0315. This is Dave signing out. Thanks for watching.